Hi, welcome to 7 Facts. This is now the fourth episode of this series, so if you want to check out the previous videos, there's a link to the entire playlist in the description. Today we're gonna talk about Arkansas, America's natural state. And yes, it's pronounced Arkansas, not Arkansas or Arkansas. Believe me, there's actually a law that regulates this. Anyway, let's begin. So at the beginning of the video I said Arkansas is America's natural state. And it is, officially. It's the state's nickname. Why? Well, forests alone cover over 75,000 square kilometers. That's almost twice the size of the entire country of Switzerland. Add to this 52 state parks. A dozen wilderness areas where cars or developed campground are forbidden and god knows how many lakes, waterfalls and rivers, including the Mississippi. Sounds great, doesn't it? Before Arkansas became a US territory, it belonged to the French. In 1803, Napoleon Bonaparte sold a huge area known as French Louisiana, which included Arkansas, to the United States. This is known today as the famous Louisiana Purchase and it cost the US around a quarter of a billion dollars in today's money. Unfortunately in Arkansas, this marked the beginning of using slave labor as no law prohibited this practice south of the 36th parallel. This is known as the Missouri Compromise, a law that specifically prohibited slavery in the newly acquired territory but only to the north of this parallel. In 1906, a man named John Huddlestone found two diamonds in the soil of his farm. This small find triggered the first diamond rush on the American continent. The state of Arkansas purchased this land in 1972 and began operating it as the Crater of Diamond State Park. This is the only diamond mine in the US, but what is really interesting about it is that it's open to the public. For a small fee, anyone can enter the mine, search all day and keep any diamond, any diamond or other precious stone they might find. Here's one fact not many people around the world know. The capital of Arkansas is the city of Little Rock. It derives its funny name from a small rock formation on the south bank of the Arkansas River called Le Petit Rocher, which is French for the Little Rock. The rock formation was used by early river traffic as a landmark and became a well-known river crossing. Since then, the city had grown to a population of about 200,000 people, but even so, it's the state's largest city and, of course, its cultural, economic and government center. Look at this picture. Does it remind you of anything? Probably not. Well, this used to be Walton's Five and Dime store in Bentonville, Arkansas. So what is so special about it? This was basically the world's first Walmart, opened by Sam Walton in 1950. Today, Walmart is the world's largest company by revenue and it's the third largest employer on the planet after the United States Department of Defense and China's Liberation Army. 2.1 million people work for Walmart worldwide. Even so, its headquarters remains in Bentonville and the original store is now a museum. The first piece of land protected by the United States government from recreational use was in Arkansas. Since the 1830s, the area now known as Hot Springs National Park has bathed notables as diverse as Franklin D. Roosevelt, Babe Ruth and Avon Al Capone. The park is entirely surrounded by the city of Hot Springs, which by the way was the boyhood home of President Bill Clinton. 47 hot springs flow from Hot Springs Mountain at an average temperature of 62 degrees Celsius. The US Supreme Court, in their 1954 Brown vs. Board of Education of Topeka decision, had deemed the racial segregation of public schools unconstitutional. In 1957, Arkansas drew national attention 
as the governor Orval Faubus attempted to prevent nine African-American students from enrolling in an all-white high school in Little Rock. President Dwight D. Eisenhower had to send armed troops to Little Rock who escorted and protected the nine students as they went to school on September 25, 1957. The Little Rock Nine, as the students came to be known, were among those who marked the beginning of the end of racial segregation in the United States. And that's it. These were the seven facts about Arkansas that I've prepared for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please don't forget to like it, share it and subscribe. If you wish to become a patron, you can click on the screen or find the link in the description. I hope to see you next time, bye.